Casey and the baby are both fine. They're just a little shook up. What happened? Mitch sent out one of his flunkies to shoot her up with some drug. What was the drug? I don't know. She was supposed to knock her out so that Mitch could grab her. Oh, my God. I got there before they could. What the police say? Yeah, I mean, did, did they take, take him back into custody? Or, or The same police who let him go in the first place? Funniest thing, they've been no help at all. I can't believe that. I'll believe it. I'm lining up round-the-clock protection for Stacy. Well, who, who's, who's protecting her now? She's at her doctor's appointment, okay? She's safe at the hospital. Not that Stacy or my baby are any business of yours. Yeah. Um... I'm, I'm running late. I'm going to... I'm, I'm, I'll see you guys later. Sure. See you later. Are you all right? Like you care. How can you say that? I don't know. I shouldn't have. Rex, no matter what's happened, I'm sorry Mitch is going after your baby. Thanks for the ride. I'll see you at your place. You don't want to stay at yours, you know, just in case Ford bridges back. <laughs> You're never gonna let me live that down, are you? Not a chance. Don't keep me waiting. <laughs> David, mm. I didn't know you were in town. Well, I have some important business to tend to. Like what? Apparently so do you. Am I supposed to understand what that means? Why did you fire Bo? <laughs> we haven't seen each other in how long, and that's the first thing you're going to say to me? He's my dad, Dorian. I know that. But I could use some support right about now. Well, it's too bad you don't have Amelia for that. Oh, I didn't realize that news had gone across the pond. Well, you know me. Always in the know. I realized that I had let my professional ambition get in the way of my personal life. Doreen, if only you had realized that sooner, things might be different now. What things, David? Dorian. David, <laughs> there's always room for you in La Boulet. Do you really think I would take up with you after you fired my father? David, are you going to let this issue with your father get in the way of our happiness? Until you rehire Beau, there's no room for us to find happiness. As a matter of fact, you and I have nothing to say to each other. I got Ford's address. Suckers ours. Oh. Sorry. No, it's okay. I just haven't finished unpacking everything yet. Um, so your mom's okay with all this? Uh, with what? Um, you know, you moving in with Marco. Oh, yeah. I know you must think I'm too young to move out, but I'm I'm almost 18. And besides, it's not like I haven't lived on my own before. I'm actually very mature for my age. Well, I was going to say I agree with you. I think you're very worldly. I'm decent, by the way. Oh. But it's one thing to live on your own. It's another thing entirely to move in with a boyfriend. Oh, I, I, I know. So you've dated other people? Not really. Uh, that's kind of a big commitment, don't you think? What do you mean? Are you sure that Marco's the one?